Oh, <laughs> well, there you are. Didn't think you were gonna make it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I meant to come sooner, but work's been. Do you know any songs about the breakup of a friendship? I was looking for one ever since we stopped talking. Look, Maya, you've got a bunch of people really worried about you. Of course you don't know any songs about the breakup of a friendship. Ridiculous concept anyway. How long has it been since you've left this room? Just yesterday I went to the film forum and I watched an old film. It was Clark Gable. Do you find him sexy? I kind of do. They tell me you haven't been out of the room for three weeks. Why? You know what I hate is that now it's this thing where people are counting the days about how long have I been in here and my parents think that I can't hear them and I can hear them say Maya's crazy, Maya's mental, I'm not crazy! movies and I read and I and I make songs and if you would come and visit where have you been I've been busy that doesn't mean I don't care about you Maya you know I do we had some good times went to matinees and to Central Park well let's go let's go to Central Park right now Come on, Maya. Come on, let's go. You're getting out of this room. Get up, let's go. Come on, you're getting dressed. Get your skinny butt out of bed, and we're gonna walk. Put some sexy heels on. Come I on. told you that I do not want to go out there. I want to stay in here. I don't like it out there. I like it in here. Maya, you cannot spend the rest of your life in this room. It's yes, crazy, and you're not crazy. No, you can't. I don't want to go out there. I don't like the people. They want something from you, and when they get it, they don't want you anymore. Fine. Let's pretend, then. Let's pretend we're in Central Park. Let's pretend it's the day we first met. You know what they say about Central Park? It's as big as Monaco. Monaco seems much more claustrophobic. My name is Diana. Maya. Cool. Do you mind if I come sit next to you? It's all right. So you've been to Monaco, huh? That's cool. I've never been to Europe. I could tell. Excuse me? Don't ask me why, unless you really want to know the answer. I want to know. I'm not sure what it is specifically. I can't really pinpoint it. Some sort of aura. Maybe it's your shoes. What's wrong with my shoes? I think they're kind of cute. We have a housekeeper from Guatemala, and she loves to shop at Payless. And you're wearing the exact same shoes she wears. So, did you like Monaco? No, I have terrible memories of Monaco. We lost my brother Milo there. We've been into a casino, and he lost money, borrowed money, gambled more. Then one day, couldn't find him. I think someone blew his brains out. <laughs> Sorry. Did you miss him? No, not really. He's always around. Around where? He's right over there. By the water. Did you see him? I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette. I'll be right over there. W where? This is right next to your brother. job you asked me to do. I'm, I'm gonna need a little bit more money. <laughs> yeah, well, 200 an hour was before I met her now that I have. 
in order for me to pretend to be your friend, I'm going to need 300 an hour. Not, not cheap. Hey, are you done over there? Yeah. I just want to apologize. I, I'm not very good at making friends. I don't have very many friends. I was homeschooled. And Would you want to come over to my place and watch a movie? Yeah, that could be cool. I'm down for anything, really. So when did it first start, not being able to go out? I've always felt that way, really. I just don't like people, that's all. So what was it about me? I wanted to find you out. And did you find me out? Well, I'd have to put on my night vision goggles. How much money did my father pay you to be here today? Fifteen hundred dollars. Well, I guess that'll get you a lot of thrift store shopping. Don't you dare give me that, little rich girl. At least I can go to those thrift shops. At least I'm out and about living my life and making something of myself. At least my parents don't have to rent friends for me. Oh, but you take the money, don't you, like some sort of whore? You know, maybe we were both pretending at first, but there was something between us. You came back for me. I've been in here two months, Diana. Two months, and you couldn't call me? Is that so hard to call me? What is wrong with me? Am I some kind of crazy clingy person too clingy for you? Yes, Maya, yes. You're like a baby chicken. You constantly need mothering. And I am not a chicken. I am not your You're mother. You're a horse running around wild and free. Yeah, sure. I'm like a horse. Well, horses lay eggs too. And my brother Milo said that if you quit with the Milo, Maya, there is no Milo. He does not exist. You made him up to freak me out because it gives you some kind of perverse pleasure to freak me out. Like I'm some sort of slave for your entertainment. Well, I paid my money, didn't I? Actually, your daddy paid your money. But you got your kicks, so now I can go. Diana, I'm sorry. You just make me so angry and I don't know how to behave. I don't want to be like this, but I can't help myself. I don't know how else to be. I don't know what to do. Please say that you will come back. Maybe. Maybe I'll come back. Can I get a hug before you leave? Maya, I just gave you the impression that I was going to come back. The truth is I won't.